Well, uh, welcome to Ernest Saves Christmas and the 25th anniversary Blu-ray commentary. Hello, I'm Ernie Johansson. And I'm Ernest Thompson. Uh, we've been uh, asked by Touchstone to provide commentary for this, um, this classic holiday film. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. We, we, I, I got the tap to be, to be uh, brought here today to record my my musings and my extensive anecdotes regarding my experience with 1988's Ernest Saves Christmas. Um, Ernie, uh, <laughs> Ernest, uh, Ernie, no. Ernie, Ernie, right? Um, what did you do on on the film? I I was a post production sound designer, and um, you can't you can't hear too much of it right now. But later in the movie, my work gets a lot of play. Well, uh, so were, were you responsible for the car? The car sounds that we're hearing. Nothing at all. A car is a thing that that many people have much experience with in day to day because cars exist and uh, we all know what a car engine sounds like that that sort of thing winds up going to, Most the, of us. Uh, to the sound editor because you can actually record a car with a microphone okay you see um, um, I don't I don't have a good example of it right now but a sound designer for production sound design designs the unnatural sounds that don't actually exist within the real world what they do is they create the things that don't exist. For instance, um, Santa, so, Santa so Claus. So, would you would you say you've had any involvement in anything we've seen uh, thus far? No. So you didn't do that no, either. Then. No, this isn't me. Um, uh, while while those are garden garden hoses standing in for snakes, and uh, just. Santa Claus has a voice replicating a human, of course. So I again I didn't have anything to do here. Yeah, me neither, really. Uh, um, you see, uh, I was not part of the Greens department, and therefore um, I was actually very uh, part of a very special small department that <clears throat> was um, the Snow department, because as you know. This film came out in November, November. of 1988, and uh, therefore we did not shoot. Uh, we shot well. We we did shoot not at Christmas time, but uh, rather in May, May of May. 1988. So there was no snow. That's cutting it. That that was cutting it close. And we haven't seen it yet, but you will see that there is snow. Later in the film, and so I was part of the team that made the snow. Yeah. Okay, boys. Bring them on over here. Oh my God! I have to say that is a wildly unethical treatment of snakes. I, I myself have uh, three. <laughs> 